Has anyone wrongfully assumed you were dumb and in the process made themselves look really dumb? What's your story? At work one day writing a menu board for lunch specials. A couple comes in and start chuckling behind me. The lady gives me this snide look and says what's a sandwich? It's spelled sandwich. Honey. Ha 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 she wrote sand. Like in the dessert. I just smiled and didn't even correct her. That cocky stupidity was truly a sight to behold. Our school's schedule got revamped which meant that one of our classes that was two periods long was cut in half to accommodate for all the changes. When I brought this up to the teacher I was co-teaching with. She called me an idiot and told everyone sitting in our table group that I wasn't very good at math as everyone laughed. A few minutes later, the principal cleared up the new schedule. Only for her to realize that she was wrong in the first place. Felt so good to see the look on her face when she realized she was the dumbass and not me. A Dutch couple visited my workplace tourist visitor center, and insisted that the French translation on our map was wrong. The reasoning was that Groenland shouldn't be there because it was the Dutch word for Greenland. Not the French one. I told them that Groenland was also the French translation. To which they chided back. And how would you know? I'm bilingual. I speak French. I informed. Clearly. Not very well they insisted. Then proceeded to ask for the Wi-Fi so they could use Google Translate. Well. I gave them the Wi-Fi. And to Google Translate they went. Sure enough, Groenland. They didn't even apologize. They just said I guess the map is correct then and left. Assholes. I am an application developer in the public sector. I have made many of the computer programs where I work such as the human resources, incident reporting, and some of the case management systems. Several times I have had people try to tell me, wrongly, how to use an application that I made. I especially like it when they tell me I should ask the people at the company up. What company would that be? I tell them that it is very flattering that they think that the software was made by an entire company instead of by me alone in my office. Corporate trainer came to our offices to provide training. I popped into the room to say hello and see if she needed help. She was having trouble setting up the projector before the session. I started trying to help but I'm not really savvy with projectors. She was getting frustrated with me as she assumed I was the IT dude. And obviously not a very good one. We eventually got it fixed. And I offered her a coffee. She was a bit rude to me by that stage. I got her one anyway. Fast forward to the session itself. And I introduced her to the room of 40 people and thanked her for coming. She realized I was the head of the division and was the one paying for her to be there. I felt very smug at that point. Had a friend in college who was very full of himself. One morning while eating breakfast in the cafeteria someone said. I wonder how bagels are made. I said. I'm pretty sure bagels are boiled. The pompous friend then said. What are you stupid? Bagels aren't boiled. That's a fine ridiculous. Someone did a quick Google search to find that bagels are. In fact. Boiled. People seem genuinely intrigued by this information. Was asked by my brother and girlfriend which planet is first starting from the sun. Was then belittled for 20 minutes after answering Mercury because they were adamant it was Venus. I was just disappointed because we are in our 20s. I was working as a teller at the bank years ago. And a Karen was complaining about how slow and shitty my computer was. If I had been using an IBM she'd have been out of there already. She works at IBM. They only make the best. Fastest bank equipment. Blah. Blah blah. I slowly. Deliberately turned my slow. Shitty IBM computer for her to look at. Not another word. When I was in sixth grade our science teacher asked what is the shape of rainbow I instantly answered saying it's circle and the so-called topper of our class looked at me and laughed and did some trash talk afterwards when the teacher said circle is the correct answer whole class laughed at her. Interrupted a group of Chinese girls on the subway in Beijing when they were saying some rude things about foreigners. A six feet ginger haired white girl speaking Mandarin was clearly unexpected.
I had a paper returned to me this morning because I didn't write out all the names of the authors in the manuscript. I took a screenshot of their submission guidelines detailing author names must be formatted with the first initial followed by last name and sent it back. Got an apology email and in submission received notification a few minutes later. Academia. I swear to God. My best friend at the time assumed herself as the smarter one. In math class one day we both came to different answers to her problem so she starts to explain where I went wrong. Eventually I said to her we should check the answer in the back of the book. Only to find out that my answer was correct. She was not happy and it sparked the beginning of the decline of our friendship. Guy tried to tell me he knew my job more than I did because he went to school to be an engineer and I just sell the machines. Emailed him info directly from the manufacturer on why he was wrong. He's not my client anymore. Don't care. Fuck him and anyone who uses education as a reason to be a dick. I was a service desk technician at a hospital helping a doctor reset his password. He kept misspelling the temporary password, it was welcome 12345. Turns out he thought welcome has two L's and freaked out at me citing his education and my, at the time, lack thereof as evidence that he was right. After going back and forth he got frustrated and handed me off to his nurse and left. She got it on the first try then apologized to me for her boss's behavior. Funniest part was as she was hanging up I heard her talking to another nurse saying yeah doctor. Dumbass couldn't spell welcome again. Some years ago some guys were talking about cars and engines and I don't even remember what. One of them was really condescending to me, F, and said. But you probably don't know anything about that do you? My husband set him straight and said. She knows more about cars than I do so don't be so sure. Then of course he tried to prove he knew more. He did not. I grew up around race cars. And auto mechanics. Who also thought everyone should understand their own car. I have to admit I know less now that they are all electronic and computerized. But this was back in the day. Was talking about binary star systems at a party. When suddenly. My ex says that's not what binary is. Are you dumb? Then another friend looked up the word binary and read it out loud to him. His eyes bugged out. I told him, stop pretending to be an expert on things you don't understand. It makes you look like an idiot. My ex was thinking of binary computer code. He didn't consider that other things could be binary too. Oh working in retail has those moments constantly. People don't read the signs right and one guy didn't get the right chips for the deal and was getting mad at me and told me to come and he'll show me the sign. I had already dealt with people not reading the fine print on that deal so I told him I'm not going to look at anything. You can go look for yourself and read it then come back with the right product. He came back without an attitude because he knew he was wrong and from that point on I always had my guard up when I saw him come in and I was ready for a fight each time. When I was in the army. Me and a group of specialists were standing in a circle. Taking a break in the motor pool. A lieutenant came out and said he needed a forklift driver. Went around the circle. Pointed at each male and asked them if they had their license. None of them did, he huffed and walked away. He had clearly. Obviously skipped over the other female and I in the circle. That was fine, we were the only 88M, heavy vehicle operators, and forklift licensed people there. The dudes were all paralegals and HR specialists. Everyone laughed. What an embarrassing moment for him. I used to be really into Wahama. At some point I went in the store to get something and some young guys were painting models. I walked over to see their work and they kind of sneered at me. A woman. In a male dominated hobby. When I wanted to lift a model one said, don't. You'll break it if you don't know how to hold it properly. After that the owner of the store walked in. Greeted me as an old friend and we got into a conversation about how the new paints hold up to the old ones. You should have seen their faces. I read this and thought it was asking if I ever assumed I was being dumb and made myself look dumb and I guess this is a good example. I had a co-worker try to convince me that nuclear power was bad. Because it harmed the environment. I tried to explain that most of the bad press was due to knee-jerk reactions and over-inflated press funded by big coal. He replied what about the radiation in your house? 
I had no clue what he meant. He then tried to convince me that radiating cannon will leak out of power sockets from the walls. It almost seemed a lost cause at that point. But I threw out my crazy theory about heat exchangers and steam power. If you are reading this Moses you can enjoy Reddit laughing at you now too. I made vegetarian nachos with fake mints in front of a bunch of friends for a party. Another friend showed up late and unprompted. Started trash talking vegetarian food because the nachos were so good he could never give up meat. One of the other guests eventually corrected him. High school economics class. Teacher asked about a specific lottery jackpot and if you should take lump sum and invest or take annual payments. I said take the lump sum and the girl in class said. Ha. Huh. For once Jits wrote oh I'm smarter than you. Teacher then went on to explain why taking lump sum was better. Didn't talk to her for 10 plus years. Got married 8 years ago. Funny how life works. Not dumb per se but a lot of people are shocked by how much Spanish I can understand as a white guy. I was recently in the hospital and overheard some of the Spanish speaking nurses talking. When I chimed in they screamed. Many times. My favorite though was when my neighbor where I live now going into great detail about the Pendleton Roundup when we were talking about going to a local rodeo. How big the arena is. How famous it is. When it first started. He told me about all the events and how they work as if I had never been to any rodeo. Then he asked me where I grew up. Pendleton. Oregon. When I was in grad school getting my master's in forensic psychology. I went on a date with a doctor from my internship. He was talking about studies showing that a human brain isn't fully developed until a certain age but couldn't remember specifics. I told him it's 25. He looked shocked and said he was surprised because he thought I was just a blonde girl from Texas with big boobs. I was literally speechless that he would actually say something so stupid to my face. A guy tried to tell me that the Civil War was not about slavery and I needed to get educated on the subject. I teach US history in college and actually wrote my dissertation on the subject, so I'll let the moron have it. I was checking out at a store once and paying with my debit card. I proceed to use my finger to press the touchscreen buttons instead of using the stylus. The cashier says you shouldn't do that. So many people touch it and it's gross. I use the pen. So I say people use their fingers to touch the pen too. And then his face fell and he looked like died inside as he realized how stupid his comment was. Oh. I got this, kindergarten 1996. My mom was the head of the IT at the school district. Dad was networks admin at the power plant. So this oldest program. Reader Rabbit was set up on all the classroom computers. And I used them all the time at home because my mom set them all up. Anyways my teacher couldn't get it to work. And told me to stop using the mouse thingy. I was like you just do this to start it. Double clicks then before I knew it all the other teachers from other classrooms were in the room learning from a 6 year old Lameo. Some guys came through my line a few weeks ago at the store and I asked for their IDs for the beer. One guy showed his ID but for the rest of the transaction tried to argue with me that I only need to see the ID of the buyer. It's any viable person I think may have some in my state, and after they paid and left. The guy next in line informs me that he was the regional guy who checked and made sure stores followed alcohol laws and that I was completely correct on what I said. I was arguing with someone over the delisting of wolves. It eventually led to the dude accusing me of blowing smoke out of my ass. Said I needed to educate myself. So I sarcastically said what exactly do I need to educate myself on? While uploading peer reviewed studies and official government data that backed up everything I had said. I then commenced to follow up with I'm studying wildlife biology and own a wildlife rescue. I specialize in wolves and coyotes. I wasn't really accused of blowing smoke out of my ass after that. In fact the entire tone shifted. I guess they didn't want to admit that they looked like a tool. A group of college students from an obscure Christian cult stopped me during my run to evangelize to me. Unfortunately for them. I am a PhD student in theology. They started asking me if I was familiar with certain things in the Bible. And I responded quoting chapter and verse. Poking holes in their logic. 
and asking follow-up questions. The poor girl obviously had a script to stick to because she did not engage any of my questions but just kept repeating that scripture clearly shows that their church is the only one in the world that actually knows the truth. Even though I demonstrated why that makes no sense. Was at my local cafe in the morning talking to a friend about law. This guy on the other table out of nowhere interrupts me to say that actually being racist is not a crime, it is in my country, and in the most perfect timing. Before I could correct him. The waitress who knows me puts down my coffee and says her typical here's your coffee. Your honor. The dude just kept staring at me until I smiled before returning to my conversation. Never have felt so good Lomeo. Once at a game night someone made a comment about an aspect of languages. The comment isn't really important. The point is. They were vaguely wondering about a thing. And I answered the question. They had just met me. And so tried to rib me by laughing and saying I was wrong. I said. No. Pretty sure that's right. And this is why. He scoffed and said. It's not like you have a degree in languages or something. Everyone else immediately dissolved into giggles as I informed him that actually I had just moved back from grad school after getting my second linguistics degree. The bright pink look on his face was wonderful. Oh sure but. I find the opposite a better teaching environment. Playing Street Fighter in a 7-Eleven. We had been playing it for I think years and felt pretty confident in the game. Some 14 year old comes in and starts telling us about the guile handcuffs. We scoffed and laughed at him. Guile doesn't have handcuffs. And holy crap he showed us the damn move. Granted it was a bug but I never forgot that. I use that story whenever I need to. HTTPS colon slash slash, Yautu. BZNHHJFQ2B1G. Had a young lady in college come in after a windy day and ask me. Do I look disheveled? I told her yeah. A little bit. She followed up with. Do you even know what that means? Yep. Yeah. It means your hair and clothes were out of order because of the wind. It's disorderly looking. We ended up in a couple classes together. Later on. I greeted her the first time. In the next semester. With a cheery. Hey. Disheveled. We ended up being casual friends until we both graduated and we went our separate ways. Nope. They're usually correct when assuming that I'm dumb. My boss asked me a basic question in French when I brought him a report worst se case et car. Which basically means what's this? I speak passable French. So I answered him in French. Yep. That was his only fancy French phrase. Very very awkward situation. I was in mock trial in high school. And my role was for the sysadmin for a college's computer network. The case was for a cyberbullying incident. And as an expert witness. I had some freedom to speculate. We were up against a fine arts school the first round of the state tournament who were probably being graded on their performance. And they were working on the assumption that I didn't know anything about computers. So when their lawyer tried to cross-examine me. He tried asking technical questions. The smug grin on his face vanished once I told him that HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And their bench looked at each other with expressions that clearly said. He knew that. We still lost horribly. But making them look bad was worth it. One of my clients filed a frivolous lawsuit after I refused to give him free services or a refund for his dissatisfaction of a service he had absolutely no reason to be dissatisfied with. During the deposition. It became clear that both the client and his attorney made the mistake of assuming I was just a meathead. The attorney ended up so flustered that he lost his composure. Insulted me, always a clear sign that the other person has literally no factual argument, and we had to recess. After he apologized. He asked a couple more questions and ended the deposition. Insurance ended up settling the claim for almost nothing. Just to avoid civil trial. I had a math teacher who thought I was dumb because I never participated in class or did my homework. I can't blame her for that. Then I aced my first exam and she had a talk with me about cheating. I aced my second exam while she was staring at me. Trying to catch me cheating. We had another talk about cheating. 
She put me in a separate room with another teacher during the third exam and I aced that too. We had another talk about cheating. After I aced the final. She told me she had no choice but to pass me but that I'd never survive in the real world behaving this way. Anyway. I'm a mathematician now and when I was visiting my hometown. I stopped by the school to give her copies of all my published papers. It was really satisfying to see the look on her face. When I was studying for my horticultural certificate, there were some males in my class that thought I was nothing but an airhead. I studied hard and flogged their sorry butts in exams and assignments and they realized very quickly that my looks are very deceiving. Funny thing is, the ringleader in all of this never finished his certification whilst I passed with flying colors. Not exactly what you may be looking for, but it's the story that covers to mind. Lady at the college bookstore grew frustrated with me and called me McGee. Assuming I would not get the reference to a somewhat exacerbating and foolish character from old time radio. When I came back with a well delivered well. Molly. I can still remember the look of surprise that washed over her. We ended up being quite good acquaintances. I'm not one much for dressing up big bushy beard bald head tattoos. Anyway I was in church one Sunday and I sat in some lady's seat lol. I moved up a row and apologized trying to be nice and she turns to the lady behind her and said I really hope this junkie doesn't steal the offering and chuckles turns and looks at me and says I'm just goshing and tries to fire up a conversation, asking if I'm a truck driver just visiting. About then the assistant pastor announces the new senior pastor and asks them to stand and greet him. The look on her face when I walked up to the podium and greeted them was priceless. Not technically dumb but at my old job this older woman needed help with lifting some heavy box up and my boss was trying to find someone to help. I'm 167, or 5. 5, and around 50 kilograms. DNO how to translate that to English numbers sorry, and I volunteered. I wouldn't have been shocked if she would have refused my help because I'm quite small but this bitch said to my boss in front of me PSSH she can't lift anything. I need a strong boy to lift it for me I put up all three boxes said guess a girl can do it too. You're welcome and walked away to do other work. That job was full of sexist and racist assholes and I'm very glad to be gone from there. When I was 9 or 10 years old my art teacher was discussing nuclear waste with the class and how difficult it was to dispose of. She asked us for a solution for getting rid of it permanently. I suggested that we send it all in a rocket to the sun. I now realize how impractical this is but hey. It was like 9. And her response was no, name. That wouldn't work because the sun is very hot and you can't actually land on it. I was a very shy kid so I just said oh okay because I was afraid of talking back to her. But man that memory still gets me angry 20 years later. I had a boss who thought everyone was an idiot. One morning. The computer in the office wasn't working. She asks me if I know anything about computers. I tell her that I've used one before. She tells me to check the computer in the office and see if I can figure out why it stopped working. I press the power button and she calls me a moron. Telling me that she had already tried that herself. I get under the desk for a moment then come back up. I tell her to press the power button again. It comes right on. She asks me what was wrong with it. I tell her it was unplugged. I was working at a Target Starbucks and it was quite busy. This was during the pandemic. So food and drink were not allowed in the store. A guest came up to me at the register and before they ordered I asked if they were going to be shopping. When they told me they were. I informed them of the policy and that they needed to come back later. He got pissed and started yelling because he waited in line for no reason and mid rant he said there should be a sign. My co-worker who was making drinks stopped everything she was doing just to point at each of the individual signs we had in the lobby. He looked around at everyone that was in line to order. And in the lobby who were all staring at him since he had made a scene. He almost ran out of there. It was beautiful. I was explaining how Dyson fans work to a customer before. When I got to the party where the technology compressed air in smaller and tighter areas of the fan allowing it to blow cooler air. He yelled at me and called me an idiot and how he was an engineer and that's not how it works. I simply asked him to blow air with a wide mouth and again with tight lips and asked him which one was cooler to the feel. He got upset and walked away.
It was more along the lines of underestimating me in sport. In high school P. E. I was treated pretty badly by many classmates. I'm small. Quiet. Passive and it made me an easy target. We were playing baseball one day and it was my turn at the bat. They all scooted in real close. Shouting stupid remarks. I bit my tongue and blasted that goddamn ball out of the field. I walked my way around the bases and tried to hide my smile. I had played some softball when I was younger and was fairly decent at it. And if I was pissed when I played, that ball would leave town. Worked pretty well for me that day. Happens a lot in my family. They all bring up a topic around me and end with you don't know anything about that though. Then they're surprised when I do. Not sure what is expected of me. I was in my third year of a marketing degree. At our uni. It was mostly client work and the prof was a mentor. The usual prof that taught this program was on sabbatical. So this other monster of a prof took on the course. About 36 hours before the client presentation. This prof yelled at us in her office and told us we were going to embarrass the school. We won the competition. I'm a woman who's worked in the technology industry since 1982. Enough said. Had a co-worker when I worked at a restaurant in high school who was helping me bring something to a table. I specified that the woman and the scrubs needed the item that I asked her to bring. She looked at me like I was a complete idiot and said you mean the woman in the nurse's uniform? Yep. It's called working in fast food. My niece had her boyfriend over and we were talking about comics. He was 25 and I was 44 at the time. He was telling me how there was a character that could just destroy anything by talking. So I walled him down the hall and pointed to my framed. Autographed in humans comics hanging right across from the bathroom he had been using for months with Black Bolt on the cover and said you mean this guy. The look on his face was just priceless when he realized a 44 year old woman knew what she was taking about when it came to comics. I also have a dog named Nur and he never made that connection either. While building a wall with a new foreman helping him out for extra hours I noticed that my doors were bigger than his so I say what's going on why are your doors so small then he starts a little rant about reading the blueprint right the proper spacing so I grab the blueprint and read 2 foot 6 inch then he measures his door and says 26 inch made me realize I don't want my name near anything he worked on. Well I have two disorders, one of them being ADHD. Attention deflect hyperactivity disorder. A girl said how I can't pay attention and I will be dumb for having ADHD and doing that. She later got diagnosed for ADHD. Just because people who have ADHD have the disorder doesn't mean we are helpless or dumb. I worked with a guy who was very into sports. I am a female who likes baseball a little. But really don't know the rules inside and out, big understatement, and don't care much about other sports. He always pointed out my ignorance and teased me about it. I didn't really care that much. But it did wear thin at times. One day. I pretended to be reading something online and said. Hey. Joe. How many outs are there in an inning? Oh my god. You don't even know that? Rum bun bun. There are three outs in an inning. For goodness sake, I grinned at him and said. Oh. Silly me. I was under the impression that each team got three outs. For a total of six outs per inning. I love the look on his face. I work at Starbucks. And I am a bilingual native Spanish speaker. Even though my English is not as good as my Spanish. It's pretty good. But some people think I have a speech impairment. One time I was talking with my co-workers and forgot a word in English. I just stuttered and honestly seemed pretty dumb at the moment. One of my co-workers laughed and started making fun of me. She was a transfer and didn't know I am a native Spanish speaker. A few minutes passed. And she was taking a drive through order which had a Spanish speaker that didn't know much of English. She had a lot of trouble taking the order. And no one knew what she was saying. I immediately took over the order talking in fluent Spanish. Since that day. She keeps being hesitant to look me in the eyes. Customer yelled at me for 10 minutes about how her $2.5. 99 pizzas were $12 when 5 plus 5 is $10. She called me a fucking idiot. So I smiled and said. Okay. 
Then she got all smug and left without her food. I wonder how she's doing sometimes. No, but most people have assumed that I'm smart because I'm quiet and then we both look dumb. Brought my six-speed car into a tire shop to get a new set. Guy at the desk, who didn't see me pull up, assumed my car was the one parked next to mine because I'm a small mid-twenties Asian woman and he didn't expect me to drive a sports car. He asked for the keys and then fumbled over himself as he asked me to move the car into the waiting area because he couldn't drive stick. A tour group had a dad in it who insisted on trying to give his two cents on my animals and proceeded to put his fingers in the tank, despite my warning and practically yelling at him not to, with our stunted gatter saying how hatchlings couldn't hurt a human only for the male to shoot out of his favorite hide and latch onto his hand. Yeah I had to bite my tongue to stop laughing. I was arguing with someone in a Facebook group the other day, I can't even remember what it was. Maybe something COVID related? What they were saying was incorrect. And not only did they consistently ignore the evidence I was sharing, but they also started trying to insult me. One such comment was how would you even know? You aren't a biologist. I am though. I am literally a geneticist finishing up my doctorate. Once I pointed this out, he completely ignored it and kept trying to argue with me. But it was clearly over. Many times. I do business through my social media for fun and I work doing makeups. Some people just want to pretend they're intellectually from higher spheres than me and they start bullshitting on things they have no idea actually. They can't imagine I do all this just for fun. That I was a scientific researcher until I decided to stop it. And that I have a PhD. I ask my older sister what dinosaur the chicken nugget I was holding was and then she, full of confidence says are you fucking stupid? That's a rhinoceros rex dumbus. It was a triceratops. Also rhinos aren't dinosaurs. Disclaimer, I was the one who looked really dumb. A person posted a TikTok about Cleopatra and pronounced Ptolemy Partolemii. I commented that the P is silent. Because that's the only way I've ever heard it pronounced, British English. As it turns out, you do pronounce the P in Greek. As many, many people told me. I felt like such a dunce. I was working in a kitchen on a line and some conversation was happening that prompted me to say the United States has the largest economy in the world. Maybe behind China. The whole line started roasting me. Everybody's laughing. People are joking about how much debt we're in and it kinda shook me and killed my confidence for a second. I immediately pull my phone out and say hey Google. Like an asshole I googled that shit in front of everybody and it was like the entire kitchen went quiet to hear the answer. USA. Largest GDP. Fuck you guys. I just went back to doing my thing trying to play it cool like you do. Small moment. But it was my moment. I'm very shy when I meet people. A lot of times people assume I am dumb. It doesn't bother me because it is a tray of dumb people to assume so much and be confident in their ability to assume correctly.